your Rana and welcome to FM Tahiti. Welcome back to our matches and our probable march towards disappointment this season. Um, so basically in the matches in between this episode and the last, we played Morpia and Feral Cats with Feral Cats being the mutiny trophy. We drew four all with Morpia. We really needed to keep the kind of points ticking over. Um, and Manuel, Kalai and Vigler all did their part, but we still managed to um, still managed to kind of concede and just let them through. I mean, they've got interesting players, so Felix Wolf's quite good. But we should have done better than that, we didn't. Drew in the Mutiny Trophy as well, keeping drawing form on, but still top, it's really matter for that. So we've got Taha and Tetaroa now. We're still fifth in the table, so we've not budged much, and now we're five points behind second place which is what we need to find. So we need to win both the games in this episode and hope that um, Moria basically drop a lot of points. In fact, I think after this, this match, it might be already done and over, and if that's the case, we'll just move forward. So I won't necessarily do the second match. Holt's going to have to come up for Smith because he's injured. Lamb's going to come back in for Twig. Uh, Needs to do anything else there. Everyone's a little bit tired. Let's bring on Kerr for Moreau for this one. Let's see how we get on. Oh, here we go. I didn't even look at what players they've got. We'll see in the kind of do you think oh no high five, no fist bump between the two. Who have they got? Mikhail Jordan, who is good. Serge Delmas, Curry, Semi Gerard. Yeah. Oh, Emmerich de Freitas. So basically a good all star team. It should be an interesting one. Who are Moria playing? They're playing Huahin, so they could drop points. Uh, but they call if they drop the Huahin, then we also need Huahin to then drop points in the match after. So it's quite a difficult situation. Oh, almost. Feel a bit bad for Kerr. He's not as much of a run in as he should have done. Even enough stats. Chance are winning, that doesn't really matter to us because they can't get through. Warrior are winning, that does matter. So as it stands, no second place. We'll do the maths afterwards because I'm notoriously bad at working out where we're meant to be, whether we made it. Long ball, Curry. Alt kind of saved it. Okay, they didn't score, that's fine. Hope Gerard doesn't score against us. If we don't get into the early league, it's going to be very difficult to, to work out how to progress the team. I don't know if we'll have time before FM20 to make much difference. Um, we'll have to see, I think. It's not over yet. It's close to over. Because Moria are now 2 0 up. Quite a gap. Nice chance. Got a game in hand over Moria so they could leapfrog in second. And then the early place will go into third place. But it doesn't matter if Moria are in, are in third place then. Because we still can't really overtake them unless they drop points. It's all pretty much the same thing. I think we've done alright with Tertengeki. We've dragged them up, managed to get them playing well. They're getting a new stadium, even though we really don't need it. Oh, big I haven't made any subs. It's been that disappointing. Make one now. Token effort. You know, Wallace, Bigler. Hard on there. 
where they score, isn't it? Yeah, we've done alright with the wings. And we've managed to get them kind of into the top flight at a time when a lot of the other teams are a bit more established and have got a lot more money. So the Humpbacks, Huaheen, Demoria do it as well. Taha, but basically whoever won the O-League. Oh, Kalai gets it in at the end. We make it look like we actually had a bit of a fight. Yeah, we it's the kind of it wasn't like the clear run that the teams in the first season or two would have got. The harder road than it was for the humpback, especially because the Gambier Islands, where we're from, are a smaller nation. So it's not been too bad. Yeah, carry on, do it. Yeah, financially, we don't have the power, reputation wise. Struggled or lie side, obviously. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm watching that back. Pretty sure it was. Who he staged a little bit of a comeback, but not to be, I don't think. Unless something very surprising happens in the last few minutes, but even them dropping two points isn't quite enough. They'd have to lose the next match as well. Nothing that's happened. Let's have a look there. Yeah, so they've won. We've basically got, if we look at the schedule, one more game, and then the ace chance game. I'm pretty sure the group's drawn just before then. Um, looking at the table, we won our match, we're doing a 34, we cannot get higher than 4th, no matter what these ones do in their games, at higher than 4th. If um, the Ace Chance match, the one that starts January is just in time, or just beforehand, um, we could potentially be at 37, but we need Moria to lose both of their matches as well. So we're going to play the next match anyway, but basically all hope is lost. It will just be confirmed the definite without any shadow of a doubt in the next match. So we're back in just a second. All right, so here we are against Tetaroa. We've just got to beat the scum. Um, Maria are playing as well against Manue, so we need Manue to do us a favor. Uh, Ace Chance can do what they want, really. It doesn't really matter to us. Um, maybe Ace Chance win. That'll help kind of demoralize Maria, and maybe we'll sneak in. Uh, but it is a long, long shot. That's assuming... The match we have against Ace Chance is within that window that we need. All right, let's bring Twig on for Lamb, because Lamb is injured again. Kalai is also injured. In training, I missed this. Two months, lower back stress fracture, okay. Okay. Um, Sabua. No, that's my turn. Bring on Talangara. That will have to do, and then Wallace can come on. Yeah. That's what we needed. Star Striker, although Vigler I think has got as many goals as him. Who have they get? Prigent, Delamere. None of these are big names. Oh, Migantes, I recognise. I think because Migante was potentially a Tahitian player, I might have called up for one of the international matches. He was on the radar as a backup. Deeper. And then I realised he's playing for Tetaroa. But no. Get in the sea. Some more ear drawing right now. Right now that's bad for us. We do not have the goal difference to overhaul them. We've also lost against them, so we need them to drop points. Uh, go on, get it back in. Back round. I've been playing Hubert the past couple of matches. Oh, almost, oh, almost one of those horrible goals. When they when they scored against you, you hear those ones. Take that. Yeah, he was playing quite a bit in the past few matches, just because he's solid. Oh, Vigler, and see, he's got an assist. So he's got a couple of goals and a couple of assists as Hubert so far. Bray, I think, is a bit better running with the ball because he can actually run, whereas Hubert strolls in a kind of leisurely fashion. Even even here. I mean, it is on slow motion, I guess. 
Okay, so we're doing our end of the bargain for the moment. We should have done it earlier on and made sure we won more matches. Get out, Bon. Oh, Vickle has managed to get round him. Good awareness. Oh, Hubert, use your feet. Nil, nil, nil. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those annoying seasons where actually we might finish second or third. We might overtake Moria in a position that would have got us the early if we'd just done it earlier. Need a goal or two just to cement it back in. Our vehicle is offside. Tamangaro is getting involved there. He's really not playing much this season just because of how well Klein and Vigler have been doing. Apparently Papite are interested in signing him. What's this? Manuel winning. They've also had a player sent off. That's not good. But currently they're 1-0 up. I guess they gap down to two points, which means we could potentially overtake them at the beginning of January, which might give us a, an in. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I still think it might be too late. I think the groups may have been drawn or the qualification may have been decided before then, even if this result holds, which just means we've got another match to do in the next episode, if that's the, if that's the case. I'm not convinced we could beat the New Zealand sides or even the humpbacks, because the humpbacks will be in it. I don't think we can beat them, so we just get knocked out in the final. If we got to the O League. I don't think we are, but we did. We'll get it out. The transfer window's open. The team's already tried to get Holt on loan, ignoring the fact that he's actually playing in the first team for the at the moment, the past game or two. Come on, put him under pressure. Angara, just not fast enough, is he? His legs are too long. I think I should swap Tamangara, yeah, swap these two round. What was I thinking? Tamangara is the target man, Vigla is the one who's going to run on. Looking forward to the tactical side of FM20 as well. For, well I say looking forward to the tactical side, I'm looking forward to implementing Hoofball. Oh no. In a reasonable strike. But that's pissed on our chips, hasn't it? Oh, is it going to be us? Are we going to lose this? Or drop the points and Moria are still going to drop their points? Is it going to be our fault? Sean Baptiste can come off a cur. Get a fray on. Hubert's fresh legs. That's all our subs done now. Not all our subs done, is it? We've only done two. Go long. Now I guess it down. In. Bigler, big man, little man combo. Gotta thank Tamangara, otherwise he will deck you. Look at him, size of him. It went long to the target man. Takes it down, back in for the pressing forward. Perfect hoof ball. Oh, Bigler chasing it. Is he going to send him off? Send him off, last man. Yeah, I told you they were scum. Get him off. Moria are still losing. A little tense. Call his tension just to try and creep into the early. Back in. Oh, Vickler. This 
sub. Apparently Kapu's looking exhausted. He's got yellow, so let's bring on Sabua. That is our last substitute now. Oh, Mikhail Muller's been sent off for them. He's the one who used to play for us. Sabotage. He remembered his loyalty to us. Did deserve his red card. Yeah, he used to play for us. Good man. Another one. Look at that. So I'm pushing. Red card. They can't control their team. The head's gone. Oh, Yannin score for Maria. Yannin, what have you done? It's fair, he's got no loyalty to the wings. Humpbacks will be different. Oh no, we'll have a look at this. Look at the, the permutations, but basically, yeah, so they've drawn. They've got 37 points. They lose their next match and we win. Then we go joint on points, but we sorted on results against then goal difference. They beat us last. No, no, we beat them. What am I talking about? We beat them, didn't we? What are the rules? What are the rules? Um, result between teams, goal difference. I can't believe I still have to look at the rules when I put the rules in. But... And we beat them, didn't we? We played them once. We beat them 2-1. It could, could work. Let's check what's going on with the... Uh, Luciano Champions League, holders, humpbacks obviously. Scheduled on the 22nd, uh, 22nd, 2nd of January. Oh no, I don't think we can get in now. This is done. Yes. Our next match isn't until the 6th. That's going to be irritating. If we manage to beat Ace Chance on the 6th of January, and Moria lose their game, we would go second. We would be in the qualifying position four days after we needed to be. We're going to come back for it just on the off chance. Maybe that's not when it counts it from. Maybe it does it a little bit later. Um, because it does the kind of preliminary stuff first. Why is it not? There we go. Champions. Oh, it's on the draws on the seventh. But he said that must be the preliminary. The draws on the seventh. We could do it. We're coming back for that match. Next match, AS chance. The qualifying one. We could do it. Probably not, but we could. See you in the next episode. <laughs>